Sim and Hal have an online home, soundcloud.com slash Serialbox. Like them, it's quite small, but beautifully formed. When Officer Rodriguez lowered the night vision camera deep into the long-forgotten mineshaft, no one could have imagined one of Mexico's darkest secrets was about to be revealed. He blinked, almost unable to make out the grainy green image appearing on the screen. He squatted down, peering closer, the camera swinging eerily in the blackness 80 feet below him. Suddenly, he lurched back, steadied himself and blinked again. Clearly visible, peering out of the darkness underground, was not one, but tens, possibly hundreds, of corpses, heaped, tangled, in various states of decomposition. The informant had not lied. Here was the lost grave of those who had crossed La Cuatro Verdugos, Mexico's most notorious drugs gang. The date was the 25th of November, 2015, the same day Hillary Brady disappeared. These events may or may not be connected. They're not connected. No one's seen Hillary in a while. Is that a corpse? Who would rip a body apart like that? From This British Life and WD-40 Luton, this is Serial Box. One story told week by week. I'm Sim. And I'm Hal. For several months, I've spent every waking day trying to solve the mystery of Hillary Brady. Or if you want to get technical... I really do. What happened to Hillary Brady? Can you be more technical? On November 25th, 2015, a perfectly happy, popular American student simply disappeared. Given up on by the police and forgotten by her community, it fell to me how to find her. How? How challenging was this search? There were times when my investigation felt undignified. I asked teenagers about their sex lives. I didn't have to, but I did. As you'll hear over the next six weeks, I literally scoured the earth looking for Hillary. Literally scoured? USA, Shanghai, Germany, even Wales. I scoured them. And what are your credentials for a task on this scale? I am not a professional investigator or a private detective. I'm not even a crime reporter. But yes, every day for several months, I've tried in the pursuit of justice to figure out the whereabouts of one woman. Hal, who is Hilary Brady and how did you know her? I first met Hilary online while studying for a degree in investigative criminal understanding. You were getting your ICU? Yes, from the esteemed institute of learning that is the Chubb Community College, Pittsburgh. And the beauty of an online course is that you can do it from literally anywhere. I did mine in Pittsburgh. Why? I couldn't afford my own computer. How did you meet Hillary? Well, I've never actually met Hillary. Uh, we met in the virtual world on one of the many online forums used by the students. What drew you together? We both shared a love of art. Modern, Renaissance, the great impressionists? Colouring books. Of course. We both found great pleasure in adult colouring books and would share our most ambitious pictures online. Oh, yes, you mean those incredibly intricate, detailed drawings that you colour in, designed for the stress-relieving benefits to adults? No, ours were quite simple drawings, but of an explicitly adult nature. So you bonded over a shared passion. Exactly. She became more than just a friend, a sounding board, a confidant, and who knows, Sim, maybe something more. How did your wife feel about her? Continuing the story, Hillary always said, if you're ever in Sandy Springs, Hal Beowulf Ninja 100, that's my online handle, you must come round. For you, the door is always open. Well, that's nice. People say that, but they never really... So I immediately bought a ticket. One flight to Sandy Springs, Wisconsin. Hi, darling. How's it going? Oh, that's your wife. I actually didn't want to play this. When are you coming home? <coughs> Who's that with her? I asked her the same thing. No one. There's no one here. It was um, the TV, a documentary on coughing. I need more money. It's to buy a flight to a place called Sandy Springs. It's in Wisconsin. I don't care what it's for. First it's the Meccano, then the train set, right. then the croquet obsession, yeah. and the flower pressing equipment. What happened to that? No, I was just... And what am I supposed to do with the 
the knitting machine you just had to have. Here's what happened when I got to Hillary's house. Hillary? 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 Hillary's clearly not in. Hillary! 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 There's a further hour and a half of that. My knuckles red roar and hoarse from yelling, I had to admit the truth. She probably wasn't in. Something clearly isn't right. Not right at all. No one's seen Hillary in a while. That's Walt Hickman, Hillary's neighbour. You interviewed the neighbours? I haven't seen a woman anywhere near that house in, uh, oh, forever. Hillary? I don't know. It's been a while, I guess. There was a woman lived there, but she simply disappeared. My cousin used to work down the county courthouse, and I can tell you for a fact, when Hillary was due to be there, nowhere to be seen. They don't seem overly concerned, Hal, considering a woman has basically vanished into thin air. It was all becoming very clear to me, Sim. The neighbours were in on it. This was a community-wide cover-up. I could trust no one. It was then that things took an even darker turn. Oh, what... What is that? On the step, ah! Oh. Someone has left me a message. A dead crow has been placed on Hillary's doorstep. Is that a corpse? Who would rip a body apart like that? They're animals. Oh, you're right. An animal of some sort. That would make sense. This was evidently a sinister calling card from someone who didn't want you poking around asking too many questions. Shocked to my core, there was only one option left open to me. You had to break in. Of course. I broke in. Weren't you concerned that it was against the law? In the pursuit of justice, Sim, there are no laws. Hmm. Right. I'm inside. This just gets weirder. Someone has clearly very recently been here. There's food in the fridge. I think they left in a hurry. This all points to a kidnapping. Bingo. Here's something. What had you found? A postcard from Wales. What did it say? It begins. Hi, Hillary. Thought you'd appreciate this view of dragon country. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And, as always, if you're ever in Mal Malquid, you must pop round. Love from Linda. Oh, well, that's nice. People always say that, but they don't really mean it. Maybe Hillary hadn't been abducted at all, though. Maybe she'd gone to see her friend Linda in Mach... 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 Wales. That is definitely one theory, but this riddle was full of questions. Why would she make such a cast-iron offer of hospitality only to disappear? What were the townsfolk of Sandy Springs hiding? Why was there so little concern for Hillary's safety? Who left the twisted calling card of a dead crow? Why had she failed to turn up at court that day? Was she being framed? Why, in short, had she vanished? Either she was on the run, fleeing a miscarriage of justice, or she'd been kidnapped. Perhaps, worse still, was the victim of an underworld conspiracy, or even witchcraft. Or she'd simply gone to Wales to visit her friend Linda. Next time, on Serial Box. You said at the scene you were not burglars. Bordering on a war crime. Who were they working for? How much did they know? How long had they been tailing us? Were they even real police officers? Oh, for f I don't even care anymore. Serial Box is produced by Simeon Corti and Hal Stewart. Carlton Badger is our production manager. Jennifer Satchel, our editorial advisor. Editing assistance from Peter Transaction. Fact checking by Christian Name. Special thanks to Bridget Soup, Sally Perusal, Eliza Action Broom Cupboard, and Ick Paper Okachokapokanowu. Serial Box is a production for This British Life and WD 40 Luton. 
Whenever I need a laugh, I go to Simon Howell's SoundCloud page. I've never been to a SoundCloud page. Just read the words. What's a SoundCloud? It's a cloud of sound. And what's a howl? We're really not sure. Look, can you just read the words? <laughs> Find more award-winning comedy at soundcloud.com slash cereal box. That's S-E-R-I-A-L. Do you want me to spell box? No, I think it's fine. B-O-X. All right, then. Soundcloud.com slash cereal box.